Last year, in Beechcroft's second year under Humphrey Simmons, the Cougars went 6-0 in league play, winning the City League North Division. Now, Beechcroft lost a big senior class from that team, but they also returned some key pieces this year. And Whitney Harding found out they add a new player from Westerville who brings talent, hard work, and inspiration. Being the new kid at school is never easy, so when junior Roshan Burns made the switch from Westerville Central to Beechcroft this summer, he knew he had something to prove. The thing is, Ro has always felt like he has something to prove. Just catch the ball. It's nothing special. Okay, hold on. Watch Ro a little bit closer. His ability to catch the ball is something special. Everybody just be like, how you do it? Uh, he actually was born with two hands. Roe was born with a blood clot at the top of his right shoulder, preventing blood from getting down to his hand. So doctors had to amputate the hand at nine months. So he's never known anything different and never been told he can't do something. He was already an athlete. He was born an athlete. Yeah, he was ready. He's been playing football since four years old, so it's just regular. I just treat him like every other kid mm -hmm. because um, I don't ever want him to feel like I pigeonhole him or anything. Then I just saw him play, I saw this kid can play. Beechcroft head coach Humphrey Simmons has only just started working with Roe and already loves what the whiteout brings to his Cougar squad, talent and toughness. He never said can't. He tries it, and that's what I love about, love about him. You know, they look at him like, oh, if Roe can do it, hey, I'm going to do it too. They feed off him real well. And Roe feeds off the doubters. Granted, they don't doubt for long. You get out there, they, under, they underestimate you. You go out there, they believe you can't do it till you catch that first pass. Local for you, Whitney Harding, NBC4. How good is that?